Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on this makeup look here, but with a twist! Because today I'm going to be doing the testing the YouTubers' favorite makeup products. Kathleen first did this. She did a video using everyone's favorites from 2017 to create a tutorial, which I thought was so creative and so awesome. I love that video. I will link it in the description box down below. And then Miss Jamie Paget did it as well. And I wanted to do it here today for you as well because I'm out of video ideas and I'm going to copy everybody else. <laughs> Just kidding, I think it's such a cool video idea and it's a really great way to spread love in this beautiful community that we have here on YouTube and share some of the favorites from our other favorite YouTubers and I'm super excited and there's a lot of great products here. I'm impressed with everything that is on my face except one which you guys will see. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil it. If you guys wanna see how I created this makeup look using a bunch of favorites from some of my favorite YouTubers, which I'm also gonna say a disclaimer that these are not all of the YouTubers that I watch because I know that there was a lot of drama surrounding that being like, well, what about this person? What about this YouTuber? Don't you watch this person? I just went through a couple of the recent vids, some of the recent 2017 favorites, and I picked a couple of the products. There is no shade or drama related to this video. I just wanna throw that out there. I'm rambling now, so I'm gonna get into this video. If you wanna see how I did this makeup look, then please do just keep on watching. Let's do this thing. So the first product uh, was in Miss Jamie Page's top five primers video and it is the Bobbi Brown Extra Illuminating Moisture Balm and this is in the shade Bear Glow. I would just like to point out that this was an $82 primer, which is absolute madness. I had also never heard of it. I didn't even know that Bobbi Brown had this product at all, so I was really excited to try this. So this is the Bobbi Brown Bear Glow Illuminating Moisture Balm from Jamie Page's top five primer videos let us oh wow oh my gosh it's so thick and creamy it has a very very strong scent but not like an off-putting one so thick and juicy and creamy definitely putting a major sheen on my face it's gonna be funny because i'm testing out a primer and a foundation so we'll see how this goes like if it ends badly will it be the primer will it be the foundation we don't know i'm gonna zoom you in a little bit getting up close and personal so for foundation this one is much too dark for me because i actually got it in the summertime when i was fake tanning all over this place but it's the estee lauder double wear nude foundation and this was in samantha ravindahl's favorite uh favorites of 2017 it was this one and there is another foundation favorite too that I can't quite remember sorry Sam but anyway I'm gonna try this because I actually have been wanting to try it for a really long time it's been in my drawer for like six months I don't know why I haven't tried it before but look at that color difference girl we are turning orange today this is the shade mm, honey bronze definitely matches what I look like right now great I'm excited to try it I'm just gonna <laughs> It's it's kind of acceptable once blended in a little bit, but not I'm 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 basically a, a glorified carrot right now. Uh, super easy to apply. It's almost blending out. Like it feels like a lotion. It doesn't feel like a foundation. It's so thin in consistency, and it's blending out very very easily, considering the difference in shade. I look like I just got a really bad spray tan. So let's just all ignore the color for a hot second and just take in the uh, finish of the foundation. It's incredibly, incredibly light. It almost feels like a tinted moisturizer. It put the most beautiful, just, I was about to say wash of color. <laughs> but it does just feel like a really, really nice tint. It didn't settle into any of my fine lines or dry patches. It just was so easy to smooth out with my fingers as well. Um, if this was a correct shade, I'd obviously be a lot more enthused about it, but it's kind of making me consider going and buying a lighter shade that actually suits me, so. Uh, that is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Nude Water Fresh Makeup SPF 30. Good one, Sam. Great pick. I didn't pick a different concealer for concealer because a lot of people's favorites was the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I have the shade Custard, so I was like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna stick to what I know. Be lame and unadventurous, I'm sorry, but it was a lot of people's favorite. Now I'm actually gonna group bronzer and contour into one, and Lily Pebbles was talking about how her favorite bronzer from the year of 2017 was the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and I haven't used that in so long. I actually have the, uh, just the medium shade one. This is the Chocolate Soleil. I repurchased this a long time ago, and I haven't used it in so long, and I was really excited that she showed that in her favorites, because this is one of the original products that I ever had in my makeup collection. It's actually the Milk Chocolate Soleil was the first product I ever purchased at Sephora. Fun fact of the day. So I was really excited to see that in her yearly favorites and I'm excited to use it. So I'm pulling out the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer using my Elf Stipple brush. And because this is a matte bronzer, I am actually just going to 
use this as a contour and a bronzer in one. I love the smell of this. It smells like chocolate. It is heavenly. And I like to just really warm up the face as if I wasn't making myself dark enough. This is definitely one of the better bronzers that are available on the market. So if you haven't tried it yet, it's a good one. And it is Lily Pebbles approved. For highlighters, so many people had the Glossier Halo Scope highlighter. This is the shade Quartz. So many people had this in their favorites. Susie from Hello October, Samantha had it, and Estee all in their favorites. And so I thought I would pull it out because it's actually a product that I really haven't used a lot, if at all. I think I used it in my Glossier review video and I don't know if I have shown it since. So I figured I would pull it out and this would be a good excuse for me to uh, crack at it again. And oh yeah, it has just a really nice natural glow. Really pretty and natural. Very, very light, super easy to apply. I'm just taking my finger on the top nubbin of it. And I'm just going to apply that onto the high points of the face. Glossier Halo Scope and Quartz. I'm gonna have to play with this more. Thank you for bringing it back to my attention, ladies. For blush, a lot of people also were raving about the Glossier Cloud Paint. I have the shade Dusk. This was a favorite of both Lily Pebbles and Alex from I Covet Thee, another product that I hadn't used in a really long time. I'm kind of, most of the time, I'm just honestly too lazy to use cream products. Like I will never gravitate towards it because you have to think about the placement of it. You know, a cream highlighter is easy because that's just a couple little spots, but for blush, I often find it just so much easier to use a powder blush. That's why I never really use this, but I'm going to use it today. Uh, this is my MAC 188 brush and I'm just going to apply that. I put a little bit on my hand and I'm going to apply this to the cheeks. This is the nude version of their cloud paint. I love it. It's my favorite color of them all. I think there's four. It's just a really pretty neutral light nude blush. It has a really natural effect. Looks like quite a natural flush. I'm a big fan. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm gonna quickly fill in my brows and I'll be back with you after that to do the eyes. All right, so the brows are done. Let's do some eyeballs. So this palette is one that I was really excited because I, th I think I've used this in a video, but I couldn't quite remember, but it was in Anna, the Anna Edits yearly favorites, and it is the NARS Wanted palette. They came out with this over the holidays, and I'm not sure if it's a permanent palette. I don't know, but it is a beautiful freaking palette. I agree with everything she said in her yearly favorites. It is such a perfect everyday neutral palette, but then you have the most fun pops of glitter. They have a couple of like chunky glitter shades that really remind me of the look that the Dior Meteor eyeshadow gives. They just make the most beautiful top coats ever. Uh, uh. I'm gonna start by just taking this creamy shade with a big fluffy brush all over the eyeballs because I did put concealer on my eyeballs and I'm just going to run some of that shadow all over it. I'm gonna take this light brown shade right here and a big fluffy brush. This is the Smith 232 brush and just run that throughout the crease. Oh, I love these Smith brushes. So worth the investment if you guys are looking for incredible eyeshadow brushes. The 232 and the 230 staples. They're beautiful. They're so beautiful. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and this deep cranberry shade right here and we are going to place this all over the lid. Up to the crease. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna take that big fluffy brush and just lightly blend out that shadow in the crease. And then I'm gonna go back in with the cranberry shadow and just place more there. Just building up that pigment, making sure that it is nice and clearly cranberry. Okie dokie, let's do the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this darker brown right here and a little mini fluffy brush. And I'm going to place that all along the lower lash line. I'm going to take a smaller detailer brush and go in with that dark, dark brown and just push that into the lashes. I might actually do this on the upper lashes as well. A little dusting of that onto the upper lashes. I'm going to dip my finger into this shimmery cranberry shade here and place that on the center of the lid. That's very subtle. That's a very subtle shimmer. I actually really like that. Then I'm going to take this highlighting shade right here and use that to highlight the brow bone. And also the inner corner. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that. I just took this shimmery shade next to the highlighting shade, dip that on top. That stands out much, much more. I like that a lot. I think she might run a little bit of that on the brow bone as well. And why not? Let's do a little dip just right in the center, just for an extra, extra shine. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. Ooh, I love that. So for the next product, for the mascara, I actually really wanted to try the Lancome Grandiose Extreme because that was Estee's favorite mascara from the year. And my Sephora was out of it. They only had the brown and the burgundy. So I decided to actually test out the new Benefit Bad Gal Bang mascara because I know there's been a lot of controversy around this. People have been posting some questionable reviews of it and it's supposed to be a super volumizing mascara. So I wanted to try it out here for you guys. So let's test it out. As usual, I'm not using lashes. So we're just gonna go right in with mascara. Wow, wow, hey, that's a cool wand. I wasn't expecting to like this. I, I thought it was gonna be, I thought it was gonna be quite firm, but it's actually super uh, bendy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like, wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah, what have I done? <laughs> That is adding on a lot of product, definitely, but it's kind of, it's not kind of, sorry, it's clumping up quite a bit. Like it's not separating the lashes very nicely. If you guys can see all my lashes are clumping together right there. Oi, 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 oi. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, oh my God, what do I do? <laughs> Holy crap, I mean, volumizing indeed, but like, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I don't even know what to do about this right now. I'm gonna take a spoolie and try to comb this out a little bit. Oh my, oh my god, okay, that just went over, all over my lid. All right, um, oh dear. Just so you guys get a full view of what has just happened here. This is, uh, that's the mascara. <laughs> I'm gonna go try and fix this and I'll be back after to uh, move on to the lips. So I did the left eye and it wasn't as bad as this one, but it still just doesn't, it doesn't separate the lashes very much. I think they could have done with perhaps making the, um, the fibers on the wand a little bit longer just so it digs in a little bit more because it just, I don't know man, definitely very volumizing, but like in a spidery way, and that's just not the look I go for. So that's gonna be a no from me. For the lips, I actually was really inspired by Samantha Ravindahl because she posted, um, actually, let me just pull it up here quick. She posted this gorgeous photo of herself. Look at this woman, what an angel goddess. And she has this really intense, like smoky warm eye. Ooh, she actually, I might, you know what? I might put some of this warmer stuff on the bottom on the lower lash line too. Hmm. Let's try it. Anyway, she did this really beautiful smoky eye and then had, it kind of looks like she's just wearing a lip balm and I thought that was really pretty. So thank you, Sam, for that inspiration as always. And then Samantha Maria and Estee both showed the Dior Glow Lip Balm, Lip Glow Color Reviver Balm in their yearly favorites. And I know Estee has been using this for years and years and years and I've always wanted to try it and I've just never bit the bullet and purchased it. And she actually showed the coral one, which I tried to find, but it was sold out at my Sephora probably due to Estee's favorites video. And then um, and then Samantha Maria was using this and I just decided to pick that up and use it and, because it was in both of their favorites. And apparently it's supposed to just like go with the color of, wow, yeah, wow, okay. It's gonna be a unique color on everyone. It works with the pH in your lips or whatever to create your own perfect pink shade. It went a little bit darker on my lips and I just think that's so pretty. And I'm so excited and I wanna really, I really wanna try the coral one. So I hope it comes back in stock soon. I'm gonna keep my eye out on it. But it's super, super thick. It's really moisturizing. I actually wore it yesterday. I cheated. I used it before I filmed this video. Sorry. Which is such a pretty, pretty light color. And it's like you're wearing makeup, but not. I think that's so pretty. Love that. And just because I just opened up Sam's photo, I'm actually gonna go in with this mm, darker cranberry shade. I'm gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna actually bring this so lower on the lower lash line. Because though it's not the same coloring at all as what she used in the pick, I thought that was really pretty and I kind of want it to pop a little bit more. So I am going to take a little bit more of that and just spread it. 
And I'm gonna leave it at that, friends. This is going to complete my testing YouTubers favorite makeup products along with a couple of new products and more clarity hubs. That's gonna be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial even though we had a little bit of a blunder with the mascara. I think it's such a nice, like it's like dramatic, but it's also kind of fresh and light. Like you could wear this during the day, totally. This would suit any occasion and I'm actually so thrilled with how all of these products worked. You got some great recommendations from some even better people people here in the YouTube space, my friends. A lot of good people tossing out some great things. I'm gonna list everyone that I mentioned and all the products that I used in this video in the description box down below, so definitely be sure to check that out. Thank you, as always, so much for watching this video, everyone. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!